guys today I'm going to show you how to use a pen tool now there's three ways to use the pen tool first one is the stroke what you do is you plant one work path and then you hold shift and plant it somewhere else plant the next one somewhere else now first check your brush settings it should be about A you can customize it to wherever you want how big you want the line to be you can make it blurry or hard wherever you want right now I'm gonna stick with this and then you right click it and then it says here stroke path you click on that and you have to have it on brush keep it on brush and click simulate pressure it's like it makes the ends faded I want to use it so I'll put it on now there that's what when you're done just delete the path and you have some kind of cool effect just like that you can use these to make flares for backgrounds and all that all right. now the next one how to cut out a picture let me just unlock it I call it heel make sure the settings is the second one and on the next column the first one so you can cut out let me zoom in a bit I'm gonna do this really quickly because I don't want to take much time on it. And as well, I want to try to get as neat as I can. So I'll just scribble it home. Usually I take my time with these ones, but I'm just trying to do it really quickly. I don't want the video to be too long because I know no one likes them. no one likes ten minute videos. Alright there. Now you right click it, you make selection. Let me just open up another layer so I can put it in there. Now you just drag it and then drop. And there you have it. Obviously you can make it smaller. There it is. Now, the third way, as you've seen in our videos, I make stereos, and this is how I do it. Okay. You know how before I said use the second one, now this time use the first one on the first call. And since that bit there is white, I'm going to turn it white so I can match it. Okay, now you go up to the very tip. Well, let me add this. Let me just add some rulers or well, guides. There we go. Right. Go up to the corner. You hold shift to move to the left. About one centimeter. Yeah. And then you go down. You hold shift again so it can be straight. Don't go all the way down, you don't want it to be like a whole rectangle. Go about here. Click it as you see it start covered. Now you click on the corner. And there you go. Just fill that in. Make selection. Now click control. We first rasterize it. Rasterize layer. Control J. And then you hit Control T, flip horizontal, hold Shift, and drag it. Control J duplicates a layer. To really learn the shortcuts, and there you have it. And just move these guides out of the way. And there you have it. You got some cool screen there. Gonna add some more effects in that.